observational data has suggested that incident arrhythmias are predictors of adverse cardiovascular events in patients suffering from myocardial infarction. The BioGuard MI was an investigator initiated trial to evaluate whether continuous arrhythmia monitoring improved cardiovascular outcomes in high risk post MI patients defined by a high CHASLA score. An estimated 1,400 patients were to be enrolled up until 372 primary endpoints had occurred. However, the trial was stopped earlier because of inconsistencies in reporting of non cardiovascular events in the usual care group. A total of 790 patients were randomized to receive an ICM or not, stratified by the presence or absence of ST segment elevation. The primary endpoint was a composite of cardiovascular death or unscheduled hospitalization for heart failure, arrhythmia, acute coronary syndrome, stroke, major bleeding, or systemic embolism, and it occurred in 218 patients. At two years, the trial failed to show a reduction in the primary endpoint, although there appeared to be a trend. However, the pre-specified sub-analysis by type of MI showed that in non-STEMI patients, a significantly higher benefit was derived in the intervention group. And this was mainly due to a greater reduction of the coronary and heart failure worsening events in the intervention arm. It is unfortunately that this trial needed to be stopped early because there seems to be a trend in favor of intense arrhythmia monitoring. This benefit appears to be mainly true in the non-STEMI patients. Thank you.